The White House said earlier this week they're sending more ammunition, more weapons, more missiles to the Iraqi government. But what do you feel like is the proper course of action at this point in time? Well, this is a tragedy. Uh, after all the sacrifices, all the blood and treasure that were, were spent trying to stabilize and provide some you know, democracy in that region, the, the blunder that uh, occurred when President Obama failed to negotiate a status of force agreement so we could leave a stabilizing force there to, again, not only stabilize the situation in Iraq, but also that would have prevented the overflights from Iran to supplying the, the uh, Syrian government, you know, that criminal regime. So what's happening, I, I, I used the term chickens coming home to roost earlier. I mean, that's what's basically happening now in, in, in Iraq with just tragic consequences. And a lot of this is really also caused by the, the spilling over, the regional effect of the Syrian conflict, which again, this president, a, in an utter failure to lead, you know, a member of his own administration said his, his, his technique is uh, leading from behind, which anybody else would define as following. Uh, you know, whether, whether we like it or not, America is the world's superpower. We are the world's leader. When we fail to lead, it, you know, some very bad things happen in this world. And again, it's, it's just a tragedy that we didn't leave a stabilizing force in Iraq. And, and the situation there is devolving rapidly. All right, Senator Ron Johnson, they're discussing President Obama's foreign policy in relation to Iraq, saying uh, these are chickens coming home to roost. Uh, the situation in Iraq deserves some more attention. We'll spend some more time on that. But, Senator, thanks for, uh, for joining us and uh, talking about these issues, and we hope to have you back soon. Have a great day. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.